It is going to be active today, unfortunately, for Veterans Day. We're coming off the tail end of what has just been an incredible run of days. Just starting to see hints through our live view from St. Joseph Hospital with old glory flying in the breeze there this morning that uh, the sun is going to come up here in a bit. Uh, the max track, nothing to show, but back to the west, the rain is on the move, so it's already getting into western Kentucky, and it'll get to us later on today. Not just rain, wind, possibly some isolated thunder showers. Better chance for just in general showers, though, and gusty wind today, so Paducah's got a wet commute underway. We'll see our rain spike for Veterans Day and then diminish tomorrow. Still hanging around, though. We'll have a few showers late Friday and then some lingering showers into the weekend. It's just going to be one of those unsettled, kind of dreary setups. Occasionally some sunshine, then you cloud back up and see showers coming through. That says mainly rain for a reason. We'll talk about that in your eighth day. Coming through today, though, showers and, of course, that wind. So timing-wise, we're talking late this morning. This is around lunchtime. It's getting into our western counties and then spends the afternoon pushing east. So we're most likely to see it uh, during the most active part of the day through lunch into the afternoon. And then this is mid-afternoon through the evening. We'll have some lingering scattered showers on the back end. Can't rule out some rumbles of thunder. And then it continues to track east and out of here. So we'll rapidly dry out overnight. A lot of your Friday will be quiet until later in the day. And there we go. Some additional showers trying to get going as those clouds thicken up uh, from out west into the afternoon. And on top of that, the wind gusts that we see today, 25 to 35 mile per hour south to southwesterly wind gusts into the afternoon right along that frontal boundary. Well, the wind diminishes overnight, and as that secondary round of a few showers tries to get going tomorrow afternoon, we could see another little pop and a little max of uh, wind gusts into your Friday. So there are going to be a lot of leaves coming down over the next 24 to 48 hours. Uh, get ready for that. Rain uh, Rainfall-wise, about a quarter to a half an inch for most folks, maybe some pockets of slightly higher totals. And enjoy the warmth. We're still going to get into the 60s today. We're in the 50s and 40s this morning. We'll see a surge into the upper 60s out ahead of that uh, shower uh, activity. Once that rolls in, we'll start to cool down. This is that cold air aloft, that big upper low. This is wobbling into the Great Lakes, keeping the weather unsettled and pulling colder air in at the surface as well. Uh, so the big chill settles in for the weekend, reinforcing shot, digging in. You can see another ripple there, that kink coming in Sunday. It's going to get chilly. It's going to stay chilly through early next week. The low temperature trend shows we're going to go from, yeah, 40s and 30s down to the upper 20s at times. So this is not extreme cold. It's not colder than we've been. I've been there, done that, but we're back to it. Upper 60s today, gusty showers, isolated thunder showers primarily into the afternoon, mid 40s tonight. Isolated showers and sprinkles should rapidly diminish. And as far as the timing goes, yeah, it's really going to hit right in the heart of the day today. There's that rain chance by hour for your Veterans Day spiking as you go into the afternoon, then rapidly dropping off overnight. There's the chill for the weekend. Look, 60s, 50s, 40s. We bottom out in the low to mid 40s, well below average highs. A few of the rain showers that we have Sunday into Monday overnight as we drop down to around freezing. There's the potential there. We could mix a few snow showers in as well.